Hi, welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to create a glitchy, broken, distorted, well not really distorted, but I don't even know what you would call it. Just a bit of an effect that you can use on the kick and bass group or an intro or a breakdown. So let's have a listen to what we're trying to achieve. So the first step is to create a kick and bass bus or group if you don't have one already. And if you don't have one already, then you should, regardless of what track you're working on. Essentially, that is just the kick and bass by itself, feeding into a separate channel. So when I play this back, you only hear the kick and bass, regardless of what's going on in the rest of the track. So if I do it in the middle of the track, for example, it's still only the kick and bass. Or if I then have a percussion bass, turn it off and I'm back to the kick and bass again. So set that up and then once you've set that up you need to add a delay. The delay itself doesn't really matter so long as it has time or millisecond mode. You don't want it synced, you want it in milliseconds. I like to set it on ping pong but that's not essential. And in this example I've chosen Valhalla delay just because of the various modes that it has. And when I flick through them you'll hear just about how much of an impact each of these modes has. But it's not essential. So let's remove this for Halo Delay, and there goes all the automation, all my hard work is gone. And let's add a, another one for Halo Delay down here. Let's put it to BBD mode. Let's move it, put it to milliseconds as I said. And essentially the first thing we want to do is modulate the mix. You can either record this in or draw it in. Let's make it start from about there, let's say. Not too much, around 80% will do, but we can experiment with that. Let's put it on one of the other modes for the moment. Let's put it on pitch, maybe. Then once we've done that, we want to modulate the delay times. So let's draw in those. already here it's starting to get somewhere what we're trying to achieve. I like having a separate left and right because then we're forced to do them separately which means that they're slightly off which gives a bit of a stereo effect. the feedback.
Fusion. Let's turn the low cut up. So when the mix is up, then it's cutting out the low end of the kick and the bass. Let's see what some other modes sound like. Ghost working quite well. Let's turn the mix up in the middle so that's extended a bit longer. I think Ghost is my favourite, but let's see what else we have. Go pitch. Phaser. Oof, sounds awesome. Let's go back to Ghost, uh, it's my preferred one, like. Maybe automate this frequency now. Awesome, that sounds really good now. And don't forget this is just a delay, even that little whoop thing at the end, that's still coming from the delay.
and then have it drop into the main. Let's take it off the kick and bass group so everything is playing. And then into the main bit here. There we go, I think it's working. So as I said, the delay itself doesn't really matter, even though I experimented with the modes, but just try whatever you have in your door and just experiment. As you can see, even minute changes make such a difference in the sound. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.